All right, let's do this. You're watching the Chad and Cheese podcast. I'm your co-host, Joel Cheeseman. Joined as always, Chad Sowash is in the house. We are chatting with John Higgins. He's the VP of Talent Management at Essentia Healthcare. John, welcome to HR's Most Dangerous Podcast. Glad to be here. Thanks for the opportunity, guys. From a technology standpoint, are you using technology to schedule interviews, to even do video interviews? Where are you guys at with with, with that journey? Yeah, the, the answer is yes, um, uh, but, but I'll break it down. So we, we uh, um, use both, you know, events capabilities, right, where we, you know, uh, when we're on campus where people, you know, we, we, we can push out, you know, information, you know, via CRM, whatnot, to our candidates, let them know that we're going to be on campus. Um, you know, allow them to register for events. You know, be able to track who actually came to the events, so we can do the appropriate follow-ups. You know, the folks that were at events, we can make sure that you know we're, we're you know thanking them for being there. Those that weren't there, you know, it's the sorry we missed you, but we still want to connect. So how about we get a, can we get a coffee? Can we you know sit down for lunch? What's a good time to connect? You know, so using technology to you know pay attention to you know who who have you captured and. Who's still out there that you need to capture? Feels personalized. Um, much more personalized. Much more personalized. You know, um, and then uh, you know, allowing them to self-schedule those those conversations, both on campus, but also everybody, anybody who applies for an opportunity, mm -hmm. right? Is they go through the you know, apply process, the back end of the apply process, you're either self-scheduling to talk to a member of our recruiting team, depending upon what the role is, uh, or you're self-scheduling to get right on the calendar with the hiring leader, right? So you're not. You're, you're not waiting, you know, for, and more importantly, you're not playing that telephone tag game or the email tag game of, you know, what date works for you, what time works for you. It's pick a time that works for you. You know, here, here, here's four different options you can pick from. And if these four aren't good, tell me you want, you know, t tell me, t tell me you need some other times and I'll present four more times to you. Right. So, so going outside of the campus, I know there's a lot of competition yeah. nationally around uh, you know, if I'm in Las Vegas, how do I get a Buffalo nurse to come move to Las Vegas? Yeah. It struck me that we're recording this in October in Phoenix. Yeah. It's 107 degrees today. Right. right. Uh, yeah. There's kind, a good there's, kind of recruit here. There's a hurricane on its way, the second one to Florida. Yeah. Is that going to reverse? And are there elements of social media or advertising targeting that can make Fargo sexy yeah. and get someone in the Sun Belt or down south to, to move north as temperatures change. And yeah, we, we, are, we are doing our darndest to make Fargo sexy. Um, <laughs> we're trying to bring sexy back, right? You know, um, um, but but it, not just there, but the, the other major uh, city we operate in is Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, okay. So Duluth is, you know, sits right at the uh, you know, southern tip of Lake Superior, right? You know, it's awfully close to Canada. Um, um, uh, summers are glorious. Uh -huh. uh, Falls are short, springs are short, <laughs> winters are long, but it's it, 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 it is it, interestingly it's been labeled as like one of the top ten climate refuges sure. in the country right now. So that's that's becoming a thing, and we're seeing you know significant investment in that community. Um, and you're leaning uh, into that. And we're leaning that's into awesome. that. We have to lean into it, right? So uh, embrace it. You know, yeah, help with you know, housing developments, those types of yeah. things. To how about Canadian coming down want American citizenship? Is that another target? Yeah, absolutely. Or so both both Canadian Canadian recruitment, absolutely. But we're doing international recruiting, right? So we we do recruiting across the pond. Um, you know, the like it or not, there's just not enough nurses yeah. being developed in the United States right now to meet all the demand across the country. And so, and again, certainly not enough to meet all the rural demand. And so that's one of the things that we're doing as well is um, uh, recruiting internationally. Um, uh, we've got people, you know, coming literally, you know, from for, from all parts of the globe, just about any continent named, uh, uh, we've got talent coming from right now. So how are you using technology to scale that? Yeah, you know, um, uh, 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 interestingly, that's actually one of our partners that we leverage from a, it, it's more of an agency partner perspective, mm -hmm. but a lot with video interviewing and that type of thing. You're not interviewing in person, you know, talent on the other side of the globe. So running interview days with video interview technology, that type of thing, uh, you know, there is a self-scheduling element there. There is the opportunity to grab, gather benefits that way. We also have uh, a partnership with a, um, a relocation partner that uh, has a technology. Uh, they're called Urban Bound, um, and we leverage Urban Bound, you know, to also, you know, um, uh, you know, get information around relocation packages, relocation information, community, you know, kind of insights, you know, around you know schools and that type of thing, you know, to folks, you know, again, twenty-four by seven by three sixty-five. 
you can speak to this a lot better than I can, uh, which is why I'm asking the questions and yeah. you're answering them. But <laughs> we hear a lot about automation. Yeah. Robots are going to flip our burgers. They're going to take blood pressure and hospitals. And, and maybe we're not at that point. But we are hearing more and more companies that are implementing technology to augment or, or give give tools to our nurses or yes. our yeah. just to make it cool to work there because you're working yeah. with cool tech. Talk about how automation has come come into play yeah. in your recruiting efforts and retention. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it, it's interesting. We, we, um, we, we, we don't really necessarily see AI as the, in particular in recruiting, as the place to replace talent per se. What we, we, we talk about elevating people to work at the top of their license in healthcare, right? So a nurse, you want them working at the top of their license. You don't want them cleaning rooms. You don't want them changing beds. You don't want them delivering food trays. You want them, you know, doing nursing, working with the patient hands-on, you know, um, uh, and, and helping them through their journey and ultimately, uh, you know, getting the care that they need. Likewise, same thing with recruiters. You want them spending time with talent. You want them, you don't want them doing all kinds of administrivia yeah. in a system. So, we're, you know, ultimately, the way that we're looking at leveraging AI or the way that we do leverage AI or automation uh, in general is making the recruiter's job, you know, less administrative. Um, you know, things like the self-scheduling, getting that out of the way, things like answering those same questions over and over and over, you know, making that available, you know, via, you know, a, you know, a conversational AI tool that allows people to get the information they need when they need it. Um, 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 you know, those, those are kind of the, the, the lifts that we're doing. And it's very similar to what's happening in nursing as well, right? You know, so if you think about, or, or anywhere in healthcare, but, you know, we, we, we use Epic as our, uh, um, uh, our EMR for our uh, health system. And Epic, you know, has you know, very similar, you know, capabilities, tools, you know, to help the nurses, help the respiratory therapists, yeah. doctors, and everything else perform their jobs, get, you know, get notes done, get, you know, follow up done, you know, listen in the background as you're having your appointment, you know, and it can help provide patient summaries on the fly. And again, allows you not to spend all kinds of time doing administrivia and the opportunity to spend more time doing what you're there to do, which is care for our patients. So in this movement of, yeah. of the landscape and technology and that you've been paying for candidates for Decades, yeah, decades, right? Yeah. Do you see your dependency not only lessening on staffing and travel, but also job sites? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Since you're paying for the same candidate over and over and over and over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so how how do you see that actually flipping, where you are actually the ecosystem and you're managing that ecosystem? You're still going to need those. Yeah, again. yeah. Well, you know, the the big one is you know what we refer to as candidate rediscovery, yeah. right? So, um, um. You know, we've got hundreds of thousands of candidates, you know, that have been compiled in our system. You know, we, we've been on Workday now for almost six years, um, you know, over that time frame. Right. You know, we're, you know, sitting, you know, we, we get somewhere in the neighborhood of about 100,000 candidates a year. So you can do the math. Right. Um, um, you know, that being said. Right. You know, you know, huge opportunity there to remine that database and keep in mind where we operate. Right. You know. Yeah, there, 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 there's only so many people, yeah. you know, to, to select from that, right. that are working in northern Minnesota. There's only so many to select from in North Dakota right. and so many to select from in northwestern Wisconsin that are qualified, interested in and uh, in, in, in willing to consider you as an employer. Yeah. Um, you know, that that being said, um, that's a huge focus of ours right now is how do we mine, how do we use our own database of talent to market our opportunities to do our own advertising, um, you know, um, keep them fresh, keep them fresh, right? You know, keep nurturing them over time, you know, um, you know, so, you, you know, we're leveraging a CRM to assist us with that. Um, um, uh, we, we use a tool called job bite for that. Um, so, um, and that plugs into Workday, right? It, 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 we, we love if Workday's CRM was ready to do that itself, but again, not game ready. It's, you know, you know, rather than probably a six or a seven, their current CRM is probably a three or a four. Yeah. Um, so, you know, in time, might we be able to migrate back to Workday CRM? You know, that would be golden. I, I'd love to have, you know, less tools than more. Um, um, uh, I'm, I'm really not interested in trying to, um, you know, you know ha have a network of, you know, a bunch of different tools that we're trying to you know, integrate you know, in, into Workday. But th that right now, that's a necessary evil. That is John Higgins, everybody, VP of Talent Management at Essentia. John, for our viewers that want to know more about you or maybe even apply to a nursing job, 
Where do you send them? You can find me on LinkedIn, uh, uh, JL Higgins, uh, on, on that particular site. Uh, but uh, the other the other opportunity, obviously, is to go to our career site, right? Uh, EssentialCareers.org. Getting higgy with it. Chad, that's another one in the can. We out. Yeah.